Hi, my name is Crystal Fletcher, and welcome to All About Canadian Books. Behind every book is a talented author and a great story. In this episode, we're going to get to know author Tannis Rideout. Tannis Rideout is an internationally acclaimed best-selling author and poet. She was born in Belgium, grew up in Bermuda and Kingston, Ontario, and now she lives in warm LA. <laughs> Tannis's latest book is The Sea Between Two Shores, and it was published by McLennan and Stewart. Welcome to All About Canadian Books, Tannis. Thanks. Thanks for having me. It's nice to meet you. So it's lovely to meet you too. And I'm very excited to get to know you a little better. Are you ready? I am. Okay. So what is the best thing about living in LA? Oh, uh, it's pretty easy, like thinking about the weather and, um, you know, you don't, very rarely do you have to be like, oh, like, let me stick my head outside to see what it's like out first. It's like, especially this time of year, it's pretty consistent. It's the, you don't have to like, do you need boots for the cold, but the dry, the cold, but the wet, the like, do I need a coat? How many layers do I need to put on? Because how many will I need to take off? It's um, So it's just the first winter that uh, that we lived here. I was like, oh, it's just so much easier easier in that way than Ontario is for sure but there's lots of LA it's green it's outdoorsy the food is amazing it's like mm. it's really a pretty great city do you have a favorite restaurant oh man um I mean street food is really great in Los Angeles so there's just like a there's a sort of pop-up thing around the corner where you just go and get street tacos for like dirt cheap and it's amazing and um, yeah, it's all pretty great. <laughs> You're making me hungry, so hungry to yes. <laughs> <laughs> What is something quirky or unique about you? Hmm. Quirky or unique about me? Um, oh, I'm trying to think of something interesting. Um, I'm a long distance runner. I'm not sure that that's particularly quirky. Um, I've lived lots of places. Um, I don't know. It's all very, very typical. Um, I get really obsessive about things. I think that's useful for for being a novelist. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm always a bit surprised by people who don't obsess about things, like whether it's an idea or a character. Or, and, but that kind of can translate into lots of areas of my life. I'll get really obsessed with like a TV show for a while and just have to like like be in it or an idea or that so I guess yeah I, I, I'm quite obsessive about things okay what are you currently obsessed about then um I'm still kind of on the same track as uh what I've been on sort of the idea was thinking a lot about um forgiveness and apologies so like reading a lot about that which is I mean that sounds very like intellectual but I'm um, also really obsessed with pizza is more fun uh we just got a pizza oven so we're like Ooh. constantly looking for excuses to make pizza and so there's a lot of dough experimentation going on at home at the moment <laughs> what is the longest distance you've run uh I run one full marathon uh not for a number of years but um yeah that was the longest what is that 42 42 K, 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 yeah. yeah 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 it amazes me now that I was like, wow, I did that. That's wild. <laughs> That's very cool. That's very yeah, cool. <laughs> um, what inspires you, Tannis? Other people's work. Um, I find that like if I'm reading something really great or watching something really great, uh, that makes me want to work. Not all the time and not everything. Sometimes you read or I'll read a, a thing and it'll be so far outside of how I write that it makes me be like well I could never do this and yeah. make me sometimes want to give up but then like <laughs> seeing something that like feels like within the realm of how I work or what I'm interested in or that kind of thing um makes me want to be like okay like I want to like I want to do that I want to like start writing I want to so like there there's some books that like I will like if I feel stuck, I kind of will just like go and grab and like read like a chapter yeah. of or, or whatever. And it's just like, right. Okay. It sort of like gets things flowing a little bit. 
Lovely. And what book is on your bedside table right now? Or there's probably a big pile, I would imagine. There is a big pile. <laughs> I just finished a book called Euphoria by Lily King, which I was a little bit surprised I hadn't come across while I was working on The Sea Between Two Shores. It's about anthropologists um, in the in the Sepik of Papua New Guinea. Um, fictional, um, but it was like short and punchy and really enjoyed that. And um, I have generally have a couple of books on the go. I've got Dion Brand's Nocturne um, to kind of dip in and out of some poetry uh, fairly regularly. And uh, yeah, whatever I just picked up from the library. Yep, yep. Um, what does water mean to you? Oh, wow, um, that's big. Um, because I've done work with like Ontario Waterkeeper and Swim Drink mm -hmm. Fish. I part of uh, my life growing up on an island in the middle of the Atlantic. I feel like I've always lived close to water. Yeah. Um, here we're not super close to the ocean, but we can be there in 20 minutes on a good day. I live by Lake Ontario for a big chunk of my life. I feel like water is always present. And um, when the sea between two shores first came out, my friend Mark Matson, who's the Lake Ontario Waterkeeper wrote to me and he's like, I, he's like, I, I love how present water still is in your, in your work. I think it's, mm -hmm. it's where I, it's where I go to feel good. Like mm -hmm. I like scuba diving and snorkeling and swimming and just the being near the, near the ocean. I think it's just, we like, we feel reinvigorated. I think by the ocean, we're drawn to water bodies. I mean, the basic reason we need them to survive, but there's something so wonderful about water it can be I have a healthy fear of the ocean for sure but like it can be <laughs> crazy terrifying or utterly calming it's so changeable and it's so um yeah it's different day to day and I think just you know it's um I don't know that you can ever get to really know a body of water yeah 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 now you you've lived around water so much so what's your preference mm -hmm. lake or ocean oh they're totally different I miss the lakes <laughs> yeah. in Ontario in the summer for sure you know like going to a friend's cottage on a small lake in Ontario it's like there's nothing better Lake Ontario has been part of my life for so long um I but I have to like I love salt water I love swimming in yeah. salt water I love the feet like that tacky feel of it on your skin um you know it's but sitting on a lake at sunset the loons mm -hmm calling you know <laughs> like it's still pretty like I don't know I don't know that I can pick <laughs> yeah. yeah that's kind of an unfair question to ask you I think <laughs> uh, when did you know you wanted to be a writer Tannis I have a really visceral memory of that actually so I mean I you know took writer's craft in high school and we all wrote terrible poems in high school <laughs> when we were you know heartbroken or what have you so like and I I knew I always wanted to do something with books, but I didn't really know any writers. I didn't, I didn't really understand that you could be a writer. I didn't kind of have examples of that in my life. And I was taking a can lit class at Queens and we were reading In the Skin of a Lion by Michael Andache. Yeah. And I remember sort of having this moment in the lecture that there was a realizing, like physically realizing there was somebody on the other side of that book. And for whatever reason, I then thought, well, maybe I can try that. I was going to be an actor for a long time. And, um, and I was just like, I want to try that. I want to figure out how to do that. And so I started taking classes and did my first class, I think the following year at Queens and um, with Carolyn Smart and just kind of went from there. I took correspondence courses and workshops and all of that sort of stuff and just kind of started um hugging away at it I'd read constantly and all the time but yeah it was it was a very specific moment of of grasping that somebody else wrote a book and not because they'd been hired to or whatever but they like wrote yeah. this book and I was like hey, maybe I could do that and you did, <laughs> you did. <laughs> <laughs> who is your hero mm. oh that's tough I have friends who challenge me a lot that like make me 
a better person, you know, like I've got the two friends that I dedicated this novel to, I think like make me better. I feel like, I mean, that makes people being heroes about me, but, um, <laughs> you know, I would say that like the people in my life that do better and then so force me to do better friends who like are working on things like outside of themselves and their own small world people who are willing to kind of step out and take risks and lay things on the line um that I'm always like oh yeah maybe I should uh, do a little bit more of that too <laughs> <laughs> what's one thing on your bucket list oh I would love to go to Everest base camp um I worry about the over tourism of that at this point in time so I'm not sure that I will ever actually do that but I'd like to do some like serious high mountain trekking at some point in time mm -hmm. um I don't know going almost anywhere especially after the last few years of going yeah. nowhere <laughs> um but yeah I'd like to go to like to see the Himalaya after writing about that for so long and yeah um yeah. experience what what that feels like and the mm -hmm. the massiveness of those mountains like I feel like there are big mountains here and there are big mountains in BC but those are a yeah. totally different level so yeah I'd like to to go to the Himalaya someday yeah we we are so small aren't we we really are <laughs> compared to <laughs> compared to a lot of places for sure well, Tannis, you survived my questions. <laughs> Great. Yeah. It's easy. Yay. You are good. Yay. So viewers, don't go away because Tannis will be back to tell us the story behind the sea between two shores. Tannis, thank you for asking, asking help. Thank you for answering my questions <laughs> thanks for asking oh it was fun fun getting to know you a little better bye everyone